you're watching Bet Republic TV with me, James Eastham and Steve Claridge. And the next game we're looking at is uh, Arsenal versus Manchester United at the Emirates uh, this weekend. Both teams, of course, involved in the relegation, uh, in the relegation, in the uh, title uh, race at the moment. <laughs> wow, that would be a change. Uh, Man United are 7-2 to two at the moment to win the title. Um, Arsenal 5-1. to one. Gone out, Steve, after that yeah. uh, draw this week against Aston Villa. United, though, which uh, is a game I think uh, you tipped on this week and tipped correctly, their win over uh, Manchester City. Yeah. That would have taken a lot out of them, won't it? Because yes. it was such, a, it was a tough such game, an emotional it? occasion yeah, for them. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it's, it's really strange because Man United won 4-0 at the weekend against Hull. Mm. Chelsea were in the FA Cup, yet Chelsea went from even money to odds on. I think that said, I mean, we're, I mean, a lot of times now we're, we're, you read into it, it's, it's, more, it's not so much about results as performances. Mm. And certainly, you know, why Chelsea have gone 4-6 to six and Man United have drifted out at 7-2 after their last game, which was a 4-0 win, yeah. is simply because of the actual it wasn't quite power as good of as the it performances. Looked, no, it? it wasn't, no, as I say. So mm. um, I think at times, and certainly in that game, Hull stretched them maybe a little bit more than they should have. Mm. So um, this yeah, is a pr it's a proper game. Yeah. I mean, our Arsenal's next month is absolutely huge. Yeah, it's huge game for They've got Chelsea, they've got Man United. I think they also, also might have Liverpool in that. So mm. th the next month will tell us, you know, tell us more about Arsenal than Just you know like than, than, than we've we've seen all season. So it will um, it will give us a good indication of exactly where we are with Arsenal. Yeah. Um, and also, Man United cannot afford to get beaten or probably drop points in this game. Well, that's a, that's a good point. Suburbs. I was going to ask you, how, how do you approach this game if you're United? You've, had you've a got huge, to win it. Do you think, I think they're going to go the, and That's try the, and the sort of game? pressure now that Chelsea are going to win. Because they can't afford to... No, I mean, let's behind. be honest, uh, I think probably Chelsea will kick it, be kicking themselves that they've dropped the points they have mm. already because they should really be, not long gone, but they should be five, six, uh, probably seven points clear at this stage and mm. that would be real pressure and I think that's what Chelsea will look to do now. Mm. So if you're thinking uh, United will go there to try to win the game, that means surely it's going to be quite an open uh, It will be an open game, game. yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's very little that either of these sides, you know, they, they probably will be feeling at this stage that... Uh, you know, they, they probably might need to win this game because yeah. I think probably Chelsea will win their game at Burnley. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, Chelsea, Arsenal find themselves four or five points behind and, you know, that's where it gets a little bit tough and the yeah. pressure then is on. Yeah. And as I say, with the run of games that Arsenal have got, it could look very different in four weeks. Time. Well, it's already starting to change with the bookies. That price on Arsenal of uh, five to one <coughs> to win the title, that's as big as it's been for about six or seven weeks yeah. now. Um, so they have drifted out. Uh, if you fancy betting on the outcome of the game, Arsenal are 11 to 8 to win the match with William Hill. Uh, the draw is available at 9 to 4. Manchester United are 2 to 1. Of course, when you've got three prices like that, which are all odds against, it shows that the bookies find it very difficult to uh, call. We've avoided the match market, though, for our two bets uh, on the match. Our first bet is on both teams to score. That's available at a price of 8 to 11. Uh, six of the last. That's a decent uh, bet, James. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. And also the stats, which I obviously yeah. love, back that up. Yep. Uh, six of the last seven head-to-heads between the sides uh, in North London have had, uh, have had uh, both teams on the score sheet. Our second bet is on uh, the man in form to get one of those goals. It's on Wayne Rooney, who of course uh, scored against uh, Manchester City in midweek and got all four against Hull City last weekend to score any time in the game. And he's available to do so at a price of 13 to 8. You're watching the Bet Republic Premier League preview show with me, James Eastham, and Steve Claridge. And after you finish watching the show, you can check out everything else on the Bet Republic website. You can set up your own profile and you can read the latest football betting blogs. And if you want to place any bets with us, all you need to do is click on the William Hill link or banner, which you'll find on the Bet Republic website.